UN condemns non-state armed groups massacre in Bono. The United Nations Humanitarian Coordinator in Nigeria, Edward Callon, has condemned non-state armed groups massacre in Faduma, Kolumdi, community of Bono State. The heading community was attacked on Tuesday by Boko people insurgency and located 120 km north of Meduguri, the state capital. In a statement on Thursday in Meduguri, Kalon said, I am outraged and incensed by incoming reports of violent incidents against civilians carried out by non-state armed groups in Bono State. 81 civilians were ruthlessly killed and many others wounded. In an attack that lasted for over six hours on Tuesday and Wednesday morning, while lamenting incessant attacks, Callum said on the afternoon of June 9, 2020, armed actors aboard motorcycles mounted a brutal attack on fellow community in Gubio, local government area, 80 kilometers away from the state capital, Meduguri. I am also receiving worrying reports that civilians were shot while trying to escape and that assailants set ablaze homes with civilians still inside, as well as stole more than 1,000 heads of cattle. He therefore extends his sincere condolences to the families of the innocent people who lost their lives in their abhorrent act. He further disclosed that the victims of massacre include mothers, fathers, daughters, and sons who should never have been a target. In condols of Boko people victims, he said, my thoughts are with the countless members of this community whose homes and livestock we are burned or stolen, wishing the injured ones a speedy recovery. He said the attack was the deadliest recorded in the North Central Bono State since July 2019. According to him, it sent shockwaves across the humanitarian community working to provide life-saving assistance to the most vulnerable in Bono. I am also troubled by the widespread practice by non-state armed group of setting up illegal checkpoints along main supply routes. He noted, adding that it's 18 risks for civilians to be abducted, killed, or injured. Why aid workers are directly impacted and the humanitarian community is disturbed by the news of possible abductions. He said that these include a camp manager from the Bono State, emergency management agency working in the northern Bono State town of Monguno, where tens of thousands of civilians are desperately in need of humanitarian assistance. Callum also called for the immediate and safe release of all aid workers and civilians who remain in captivity. I firmly urge all actors on the ground to protect civilians and aid workers and ensure the unimpended delivery of humanitarian aid to the most vulnerable women children and men who desperately need relief he said thank you for listening to this news viewers for first of all i will ask by saying that what does he mean by non-state armed group what does he mean does he imply that state armed groups 
can violate the sanctity of the human life? <laughs> In fact, the UN should effectively keep quiet. If it cannot go beyond talking, we want a UN that can hold national leaders openly accountable, not a lame dog organization that no one can trust, who watch over genocides and will only talk and later run to the world court when the damage is already done. What, what, what meaning does it make if a mad leader and its group kills thousands of people only to be imprisoned after he has done much? Action we are asking for, not by talking much. Believe you me, the UN is rapidly becoming a trash of waste pain. I tell you, make your findings. It is becoming obvious that what Donald Trump is being vindicated as the day breaks. This is a body that is dominated by the Arab world and satanic agents. How is the people are massacred daily in Nigeria by the Fulani headsmen and Boko people? Yet, what we hear from UN is is a is useless statement. Statement. Besides, the number of death statements. Besides, massacre of Christians in Nigeria every day is becoming genocide. Yet our president is not bothered, rather quick to make counter statement on the truth be told by IPOP. How will I however we never address the issue of massacre and genocide on daily basics? Uh, the, the issue of the too many killings and the level of insecurity supposed to be to be attended to, supposed to be discussed, yet they won't say anything about it. They will only be 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 be, yeah, be attending to what what is not. They will only be saying things that is not. What is necessary, they will not pay attention to. You can imagine. UN should make their findings, try to know what they're supposed to pay attention to and pay attention to, and not um, messing up the whole thing. I tell you, all these things need to be attended to and need uh, an immediate attention. The UN should do what the, uh, what 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 is necessary? The UN is rapidly becoming a trash of waste bin. It is becoming obvious that Donald Trump is being vindicated as the day break. This is a body that is dominated by the Arab world and satanic agents. How is the people are massacred daily in Nigeria by the Fulani headsmen? And Boko people, yet what we hear from UN is useless. Useless statements. Statements that doesn't matter. Things that doesn't matter. The most important they will not talk about is only to pay attention and do uh, and and, uh, and take action on the unnecessary. Besides, the number of deaths recorded daily on the massacre of Christians in Nigeria. Every day is becoming genocide and it's becoming unbearable. UN supposed to pay attention to issues of this kind and prefer a, la a, a lasting solution to this, to this. So please, what's your take on this news? Please don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.